old you getting it later, right? I think so. <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? My name is Tony, and welcome to Roldo's Details. Today's video is gonna be about how to build a generator slide out without using a welder machine. So this is gonna be a three part series. So I will place the link on the comment section below for the next video. So let's move on to Home Depot and we're gonna buy everything that we need for this generator slide out. All right, so we are in here. We might gonna use some angle. This is like inch and a half by inch and a half. You can use either metal or you can use aluminum. All depends on how do you want to do it. Um, and also we can use a square tubing, but for this we're going to use, uh, we're going to need a welder. So, okay guys. So this is the area where you want to be if you know how to use a welder. But if you don't know how to use a welder, I'm going to show you a different option on how to do a generator slide out without using a welder. Let's move over to another section. We're going to move to the electrical area where they sell all those parts for electrical stuff. All right, guys. So this is the area. Uh, this is the Unistrat. You can choose a small pieces if you want this one uh this is in chain five eighths thick it's kind of like a square tubing but you got this channel where you can place the spring nuts this is the spring nuts so after that you're gonna pick up some of the uh l brackets which they gotta be somewhere over here let me find now okay it looks yes over here you got t brackets you got L brackets, like this one here. And you have to look for another type. They look, well, my, they don't have over here. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. But yeah, it, they are almost like this. And set as the, has this other hole right here. It looks like that. So that's what we're gonna be using. I gotta go to another Home Depot, I guess. So I'm gonna pick some of these ones. Uh, probably something like this you're gonna use the spring nuts either this type or this type but I like this one's better so this one's uh, in this case I'm not sure am I gonna be using 3a spring nuts okay so if you're gonna choose 3a spring nuts we're gonna pick up some 3a bolts uh, which yeah like i said i'm gonna have to go to another one another home depot because they don't have much stuff over here so but anyways you just can pick one full stick of this this is 10 foot 10 feet long and the price is 22 dollars for the thick one the inch and five eighths and the one is seven eighths is 19 dollars so that's all you're gonna need all right let's pick this stuff and then i will see you guys later okay this is what i'm talking about pick some of these ones t brackets and maybe some l brackets like this ones so all right that's what i'm talking about this is all you need to be able to do your generator slider. Well, you need one more thing that I'm gonna show you what it's gonna be. But let's move on to my little fab area. This is, all right, guys, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, I got this piece over here. This is a piece of angle. This is like uh, two and a half inches by maybe inch and a half on the bottom now this piece over here <clears throat> my boss give it to me uh this piece is something that normally came on those uh big panels uh for shipping only they they ship the uh the the pallets with the big panelists panels to us and this came like so like let's pretend this is the uh the panel coming up and they use these holes over here to attach it to the pan to the pallet. So 
just for security, you know. So this was gonna end up in the trash. So I I asked my boss if I can have them, and he said, "Go ahead, no problem." All right. So I got this, and now, like I was explaining to you guys, this over here is the Unistrat. We already cut a few pieces over here, and technically. What we're gonna do with the unit strut, you're gonna have a L bracket. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set this like so. You can either use it like this or you can um, technically cut the, uh, the unit strut 45 degrees to make it look nice. But in this case, we're not gonna be welding. And that's the reason I want to do it like this. I can do it, you know, with the welding, but uh, I want to show you guys how to do it without. So <clears throat> what I normally do, this is the, what we call the spring nut. We got a 3A bolt, 3A lock washer, and a 3A washer. So what we're going to do, I like to remove this little spring. I don't, I don't really need it. So I just remove this, you know, you guys got to be careful when you're pulling because you can get hurt whenever you're pulling with this. It's good to wear gloves when you are doing this type of work, you see? So you can get hurt with that easy. So <clears throat> you guys can put this like so, like I, like I was saying, we got a bolt, we got a, we need the, Flag washer, black washer, and a 3A bolt, okay? It goes like so. Pretty simple. And you're gonna bring your spring nut like this, once you put it all together, and it's gonna look like this. When you tighten them up, You gotta make sure the spring nut is gonna grab the little channel the the on the unit strut, you know. And that way the unit strut is gonna be attached together like that. Uh, now let me give you a close-up guys see how the channel the unit strut and the spring nut is grabbing that together so obviously you're gonna put two more right here to make it pretty much solid and that's how you're gonna work it out so after that, the next thing we're gonna use, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna remove this just to show you guys what is the next step. For example, it's gonna be Unistrat and it's gonna be like so. This one here is the slider. This is 22 inches. And this one is around, I can't remember how much I paid for, but it's under $100. Yes, it's expensive, a little bit under $100. With shipping and all that stuff, yeah, $100. So you guys can see, this, this one here lacks on place. But when you pull the little, the little, um, what's the call? One second, guys. Okay. When you pull this little thing up, it's coming out and lack, lack on place. So, like I said, this is gonna be right here, like that, and the unit strut like this, so whenever you guys pull this, 
the generator is gonna come out. All right? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna, if not, this video is gonna be too long, so I'm gonna keep going and I will show you guys uh, what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. So let's do it together. to my friend Chilo. <laughs> he let me borrow his benzo because with a head saw, it's gonna take forever. So as you guys can see, my friend Chilo. Thank you, Chilo. Okay guys, so this is kind of how it's gonna look pretty much with the L brackets. And I still gonna put a piece right in the middle with a T bracket. Uh, let me show you what is the T bracket. Like I mentioned, this is the T bracket and you can install it like this to put the other one across, you know, for support. This is like if you guys don't know how to weld it's, it's just one up one option this will apply to uh how to install your reels on your on your mobile detail setup you can use this stuff also to in order to put your reels in anything you know you can do shelves with this whatever you want like all we gotta do is use the our imagination and then we do it, you know. There's many things that we can do with the with the Unistrat. So, what I'm doing now, I am cutting this like 45 degrees, and I already marked it. Marked this one. So, all I do is I grab my square. This is already 45 degrees over here. So, cut everything like that, and you're gonna be able to uh, do. Uh, do your frame like that. And when you put the other 45 degrees over here, so you're gonna have a 90 coming this way. So in this case, I wanted 22 inches across by 20. And yeah, that's what I'm looking for right now. So, all right, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna cut this with the benzo. All right, so let's continue. 